Hello and welcome to Crash Landing, a brand new series with me, the most of everyone, aka Mr. Sarrett. Now, um, new series, yeah. Okay, there is a good reason for it though. There is a very good reason for it. That reason would be because, um, the at launcher, it's, it, it's not working so well for me at the moment. In fact, with the latest update, it's actually been a while since I recorded, that's, yeah, quite a while since I recorded last, um, with the latest update, I, I kind of, uh, lost my save. All of them. Annoyingly, because I was really enjoying, I was really enjoying Sky Factory. Um, unfortunately, yeah, that world is gone, and I cannot find it, I cannot get it back. I don't know what happened, so we're gonna have to start a new series, again. Yeah, I know, it's it's just as annoying for me, I, I can guarantee it, I can assure you. Well, what I've done, I've decided to go back to Feed the Beast. This here is a map, I'll, I've actually forgotten who it's by, uh, embarrassing, oh well. That's, that's me, my memory's never been good. It's a beta, it's still a closed pack, a closed map. The private pack code is boom, I'll whack that in the description down the bottom. It's very similar to, well, Sky Factory, I guess, in a way. It's actually more like Argre Argarian Skies, Argarian Skies, I can never say it right. I can barely say my own name right, to be honest. You get yourself a nice little quest book and you got to do a bunch of things. There's the, the backstory. You basically crashed on this strange world. This is your ship, or what's left of it. That There's one engine, and the engine on the other side is on fire. That's fantastic. All this here, it's not sand. It's all dust. The entire planet is made of dust. Doesn't matter how far you go, you're going to find nothing but dust. There is two versions, or two map versions, I should say. This is played in hardcore, I should also say, which means you died, the map is gone. Uh, but seeing as I die so often and lose maps and lose saves and all that anyway, it's, well, why not? <laughs> We're probably not going to have a very long series here. But anyway, this here is the hardest of the hardcore maps. There is an easier version. The only difference is the starting items. In the harder version, which I'm currently on, you get less items to begin with. But you get very few items anyway. Everything can be made by you. Everything can be made pretty much <laughs> from starting from just this dust right here. Now, what I'm doing at the moment is building a trench, and that is because, if you haven't noticed, we're on a flat world. A very flat world. Which means mobs. Lots of them, and they're all going to be coming straight for me. So before it gets dark, and before I start any quests, which I think I might have already started one quest by accident, but before I intentionally get any quests done, I want to make sure I get all my ship inside this boundary. Before we get any quests done, I'm going to get some kind of defence up. Because believe me, the mobs, they don't like you. They don't like you or one bit. Mo for the most part, they are the standard mobs. Well, for the most part, pretty much they are just the standard mobs. The only thing I have noticed is creepers seem to be very easy to kill. I don't know if that's just because I'm incredibly awesome, or I doubt that. It's, it's probably more likely there's been some kind of change to them that I haven't noticed. It could be vanilla, it could be part of the mod pack, I'm not sure. Uh, I do know that creepers, when they blow, they do not blow your stuff up. They just blow you up. So, yeah, that's it's kind of a win, I guess. Kind of. We'll make sure we do this too deep so that we actually trap the mobs. That's the idea of building the trench. It becomes kind of a, a mob trap itself, kind of a way of killing things. I think another thing you'll notice is I do have a heat bar, and it's rising. I also have water bar. Yes, you can die very easily in this game. And I probably should have done the first quest in order to make sure that I do not dehydrate. You will get heat stroke very quick. Right, we've just about got this done. There's still, skellies are still going to be able to shoot me, so I will have to build a wall in a second. Let's just have a look at our quests. Click right here. We want to do the basic survival. We've done zero of it. There's two quests to begin with. First one, what has gone before? This is kind of the lore. It'll show you where's where and what's what. The first one is to find pretty much this location here. The next part of it, you find this spot up here. 
completed, all you get out of that is a bunch more log entries, a bit of lore that you can go through if you really want to. I'm not going to because I don't have much time. This is where the real missions start. The first one, need to get fluid transposers times two. That stuff is very dangerous. Let's, even if I do block it off right here, it's still going to keep catching fire. That's just to protect me from spiders. Oops. Now, you have nothing in you. On the easy map, you actually get stuff already in there. Alright, so. That's done. And for that, we get a very good reward. Very needed reward. Get all back. That's what we get. And yeah, we get a bunch of water. Cold water you can just drink straight as. The camel pack, or all the water bottles, you can drink any water by itself. We just put in the camel pack and it'll rehydrate you automatically. Cold water I am going to put in here. And we're going to hold on to the water. I'm going to use that for emergencies. Food. Food's another issue. Alright, we don't really need crescent hammer anymore. As food, as you eat food, I shall hover over it and it'll explain it better than I can. Diminishing returns start after eating any food 36 more or more times. So as soon as I had, I've had 36 meals, so it pays not to eat unless you absolutely have to, food starts to have less of an effect the more you eat it. So of the last 24 food items you've eaten, if 10 of those was beef jerky, beef jerky would give zero return, zero nourishment. It'd be pointless eating it. Absolutely pointless. I did not mean to put that there. <laughs> uh, let's try that. Let's try getting rid of that. Oh! Uh, geez, struggling already. Alright, this here is just the quest delivery system. There are some quests that need to be manually... manually... handed in using that. Alright, we're just gonna... kind of make it a little bit spider-proof in here. Now next quest is an important one which we need to get down as fast as we can, the very basics. What do we need for that? Oh, I've already got it all. Fantastic. What's this? Composting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Saplings. Yeah, we need saplings. For that, we need a tree planted. Luckily, we do have just such a tree. Uh, unfortunately, birch sapling, not really the most ideal sapling. I'd actually prefer an oak, just because you get apples from it as well. Food is going to be a real issue. We're going to get a bit of dirt as fast as we can, and we're going to start sifting dirt. Too high should stop the scallies. Spiders are still going to be a problem. I might see if I can't put a little lip on my wall at a later date. That should hopefully have some kind of effect. I'm not actually sure if that works anymore. Hopefully it does. Stop that, you. I have tried recording this already. Tried making a few episodes. And it did go so well. <laughs> so hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer. Generally it's mobs that kill me, even though I am more often than not protected from them. With my awesome wall. You can see it from space, you can. It's to stop the rabbits. Yeah, I'm sure plenty of people are going to get that one. Uh, yeah, it's... Mobs still... I don't know, I keep doing stupid things. I keep going out to meet them. <laughs> and I don't recommend that. Not one bit. Now, I don't know every recipe on here yet. There's quite a few recipes being changed. A few things are not what they used to be. Or what they normally are. Barrels, for example. You can't actually get barrels anymore. They're not in it. Not in the game. Well, they are, but... He doesn't want you doesn't want you to be able to get water from rain. In day one we are going to have a bit of rain. Okay, that there is Oh, oh. Ooh, you smash just knocked my coffee. It's stupid o'clock. Pretty standard for me. Stupid o'clock. Recording for fu come on. Uh, uh, uh. What are you What? 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 Ow! All right, fine. I'm just gonna keep digging then. You're not gonna grow. Why would you not grow? 
should love to grow. Oh, mobs have started to spawn. We have got uh, a couple of scallies and a couple of zombies. Okay, we've got a bit of water here. So we're probably going to make just a tiny little farm. Right here. Come to me, blocks. A bit of clay as well. It's not the only way to get clay, but it is quite important early on. A couple of missions, a couple of quests, I should say. Oh, okay, now look at the mini-map. Have a look at the mini-map. There's just a few, just a few mobs. Spiders are the ones we've got to really watch out for early on. I'm not sure why that tree wouldn't grow, that's that's annoying. It's not too close, well no, so I've grown trees closer to my base. Many a time already, those mobs are very loud. So I guess all we can do really is clear out all this here. Until we get some saplings and wood, there's not much else we can do. So we'll just keep clearing this out. can start making a few bits and pieces for future quests that I know are going to happen. Make a bucket. Can't fire it up yet, not until we get a bit of stone or a furnace, but those mobs are very loud. Don't know if they're loud for you guys, but they're very loud for me. I'll put it down to 10. I normally play with it a little bit higher than that, actually. They seem very aggressive. Oh, we've got one creeper out there. No spiders still. Endermen are a little bit rare. A little bit harder to get your hands on. Which, later on, you do want a few endermen. Oh, there's a first spider. He's a long way off, though. Hopefully he'll stay all the way out there. Skeletons and zombies, they seem to be attracted to you. They'll run from miles to get to this little little base. Spiders and creepers, if they're in the area, they'll come for you, but otherwise they tend to stay away. I'm not sure if it's my bad luck or if it's actually part of the map, but day one will rain. As soon as day breaks, there'll be rain. And, see, the thing with that is... You want the sun to kill all these mobs. Otherwise you've got to go out there. That's not a good thing. Going out there. Not very good. Ooh. Oh, that's a spider. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Oh, we got a reward bag. Well, let's take... Ooh. Oh, that's a great reward. Not really, it's pretty average actually, bit of sandstone steps, actually we can use, well not just sandstone, but all the steps, all the stone steps, let's use that, we'll make, no scallies going to shoot me whilst I'm up here, I normally make my stairs up to the wall right here where this engine is, obviously it takes me a little bit longer ordinarily to get stairs, so I normally have the engine removed before I do this, but let's whack the stairs down here all the same. Da, 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 da. Then we can go up and have a look. Ooh, got some scallies coming in still. Quite a few, in fact. Well, let's leave them to their business. We'll just clean out a little bit more of this dust. As we get around the back here. This part here has set me on fire many times. I am looking forward to getting rid of this. It is not lava in that engine. I forget what it's called. It's this stuff. Blazing pyrothium. Now, blazing pyrothium, if you pick it up with a bucket, it's the same stuff. It's blazing pyr pyrothium or whatever it is. If you pick it up with a clay bucket, it turns to lava. So that's going to be one of our first things that we do. Let's get ourselves a little bit of lava. So that'll be good for a cobble generator. Of course we do have the heat issue, which means working around lava is not going to be an ideal. I guess all we can do right now, whilst we wait for that silly tree to grow, collect a few bits and pieces with the sieve. Hopefully a little bit of bone meal. You do get bone meal. 
See if you go over this and you click, you actually see what you get. 20% chance of getting bone meal, so it should be a reasonably high percent. Bit of salt as well, that will be important, we need that for a mission. You do get eggs and fish this way too. Well, we can probably do a little bit of fishing once we kill a few spiders, but and get a tree to grow. I might try moving that tree actually. Yeah, it seems to... No. Seems to not want to grow. Yep, does want to grow. Might have been a bad idea to move it, but... That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll, I'll move it. Up three spots. <laughs> I kept planning on moving it. I'll move it there. No, I'll move it. No, I'll move it. Yeah, I'll move it three. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we get a bit more bone meal. Getting a bit of service quartz actually. What's, whoops, wrong button. What's the chances of getting that? 17, so there's actually less chance of getting that than there is of getting bone meal. And yet, I've got five of them. And no bone meal. Stones are another thing that are very important. You have a much better chance of getting stone from dirt, putting dirt through here. Ah, there we go. It's one. Let's get a couple more. Well, the reason I put the sieves... Oh, another one, yes, excellent. The reason I put the sieves so close to the door is obvious. It's because spiders are constantly attacking. Always attacking. I don't know what it is. Oh, now we're really bringing in the, the bone meal. Getting a bit peckish as well. As you get... It, it's kind of stuck behind the map there, but behind the map it says I'm starving. That will change. It does have an effect if you're starving or hungry or whatever or recently eaten. So you have to keep a close eye on your status. Which is something I never do. But, do as I say, not what I do. Not as I do. Uh, again there. Spider's still hanging out over there. Two, three, four. Yes! See, I knew I could do it. I knew it. Oh, we got a fish. Excellent. Oh, we got a bit of stone as well. Not as much as what we need, but it's a start. Now we're going to make a couple of crooks. Should be used to the basics of this just from the Sky Factory. Love to have got a few apples out of that. Oh, mm. Alright. So saplings are very important. Later on you can actually use the leaves to get water. But yeah, you, without automating it, they're it, it's a, it's actually a real pain, I found. You get such little water for your uh, for your effort. You end up having to put so many stacks of leaves into a crucible just to get a little bit of just to get one bucket of water. It takes ages. So I'm oh okay. Um, here we go. Let's pick all these. Ah ah ah. Oh, I don't have bull. I didn't put bullets in my gun. Okay, spider, spider, leave me alone. Oh my god. Okay, bullets. I didn't pick them up. Oh, that's very loud. Now I'm injured. Injured also has its effects. And I'm starving. And I'm well fed. Oh, uh, now I need to spend a bit more of my food just to get my health back. That was... that was not good. That was very not good. Stupid spider. Stupid me for not... for not having ammo in my gun. Alright, that's killed off most of... Thank you. Most of our... Scally buddies and zombies out there. Let's get ourself. Can we you? A chest. Just whack you down right here. And we'll whack in all of these ores. Alright, let's. Oh, we've 
we've got to do it. We've got to risk it. We've got to go out there. We probably should, first of all, get out of here. Get some bullets. Oh, I've, I've got them on me. Dang it. Alright, now we got some bullets. Now let's get out there. Skelly. Several skellies. Armour, of course. Oh. You got me. A little bugger. That's not good. Oh my god. <laughs> I got the skelly. Uh, not the skelly, the baby zombie. They do not burn up in the sun, baby zombies. But we get... Yeah, it's good. We get quite a bit out of this. This is very important, all this stuff here. The bullets for my gun can be replaced using... using arrows. You do need a little bit of gunpowder, but you can get that from sieving it... sieving dust through over here. Of course, we've got quite a lot of bone meal now, so that we can get ourselves a few trees. So we can do this. Nice. But this is probably a better way of getting dirt. Like so. There is also... Actually, this is a... Here we go. We got the salt, we got the rotten flesh. Now we need desperate measures. Zombie jerky. So I'd automatically hand that in. A little bit of salt. You get from sieving dust. Rotten flesh. Zombie jerky. Alright, so we'll claim that reward. A little bit more zombie jerky. Next we're going to get even more desperate. <laughs> some silkworms cooked up. We can finish this one off. That is to get some dirt. We get a bit of bone meal for that. Cooking utensils would be nice. We've got to get a bit of iron and some cooked stone. So we won't be doing that anytime soon. We need a bit of stone for the tools as well. Water. This one's going to be very important. We need some dirty water. And we can do that right away. Got too far there. Bottle. Dirt. Dirty water. For that, we get... We get a piece of dirt in the reward bag. Yay! Then you've got to purify it by cooking it up. Well, we're going to have to work out a way of cooking it up next. And I have an idea on how I'm going to be doing that. Alright. That's not what I meant to do. Put some dirt down here. And yeah, we're going to get another sapling. There we go. Get a couple of saplings growing. One, two, three, four. Don't need such a big gap, but oh, I want a big gap. Okay, get those growing, I reckon. How is our water? What is going okay for the time being? Oh, one. Nice. Let's get rid of some of these crooks. We've got some bones now, so we can make some bone crooks. That's still a thing. Oh, we've got a witchy grub just then, too. Good. It's actually quite a large tree. As we get a few saplings as well. I want to save a little bit of the bone meal so I can make some tools. You can actually make bone tools from Tigris Construct. You can just make wooden tools, but they generally only have one or two uses, so... Yeah, pointless. Very silly to make them. Well, not always silly. I will actually make them sometimes. A hoe, for example. You get one use out of it, but... Oh, my health is actually doing alright. You only get one use out of a hoe, but early on you only really need one use. Let's just get the last of those. Losing my voice. Can I get that one? Alright. Get rid of this wood here. We're going to get started on Tinkerous Construct, but that is going to have to be for next episode. I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'm sorry that Sky, Sky Factory is gone. It was definitely, definitely not what I wanted to happen. But oh, what can you do? What can you do? All right. Let's just quickly, whilst I remember to, let's make a few chests. Just a few. And we're going to put 
one over here, one here, and let's dump some stuff in here. Alright, you are going to be mob drops. You could be food. Can't actually do anything with the food just yet. Oh, put the salt in there too. Claim this reward bag. Oh, that was nice. That's a good one. Any drop around here? We'll may as well whack these in here. And you know what? I know I said that's it for this episode, but... Oh, let me out. 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 There, here we go. Let's get ourselves a wooden hoe and plant one of these down. So there you go, one use. Uh, peas. We're going to live off peas for a little bit. Alright, that's it. That's the episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.